Hello YouTube. In this video we're going to talk about the Pentel Intergel BL407 Aluminum Alloy Barrel Pin. Let's get to it. This pin is really easy on the eyes. Really nice looking. If you're a professional, you're definitely going to like having this pencil in your pocket because it just looks professional. It has a aluminum alloy barrel. Okay, the one I'm holding here is chrome, but it also comes in silver, Black, pink, aquamarine, and violet. It has this really unique, distinctive, textured grip. It's not rubber or cloth or anything like that. It actually is part of the metal barrel. But it's raised, where you can see if I can get it right there, you can see that you have this um, grooves in here, which makes the barrel part feel like it's raised, though it's not. It's, these are grooves. You can put your nail down inside these actual grooves. And it gives you this feeling of control so that the pen does not feel like it's going to be slipping in your hand just like this. And yet it does not bother my fingers whatsoever. Now, this particular pen will accept any inner gel refill. So, if you don't like what it comes with, go ahead and change it out for another one of the inner gel inserts. Now, the formulation of the ink in this particular pen is part liquid, part gel. They take the best of both so that it would provide the kind of writing experience that you get with this BL407. Now, I'm going to go ahead and write with it and give you my impression of what it's like to write with this really good looking pen. Now, the mechanism itself to extract the tip and to click it back in feels really solid and even when the point is out it still has enough pre spring pressure here to to feel really solid I like that as opposed to for example in, in another video where once I clicked it in then it was kind of you know just Free, moved freely and I did not like that so much so I like this it's it's very solid feeling it's not heavy but it does have a little bit of heft compared to say a, a plastic pen so let's see here this is the I'll go ahead and zoom in as I usually do here we go this is the Pentel Inner Gel. It's an aluminum alloy BL407. You can see that the ink is black. This happens to be a 0 0.7 millimeter medium tip. The ink flows really nice. Smooth. Quick. Solid. The whole writing experience is just, it just glides. It doesn't cause you to uh, 
you know, it doesn't have that resistance to writing. There's no feeling of drag to writing with this particular pen. Uh, as far as how quickly does it dry, well, let's take a look. I'm going to uh, lay down some ink here, and then I'm going to do that. Okay, I gave it kind of a one, two second thing there, and there's no smear that I can see. So it is quick drying. Okay. Now, reading some of the reviews online from other individuals who use this pen every day, I find that it is overall positive. Uh, many professionals consider it their everyday best pen um, that they would recommend to others. I agree with them on that. Uh, there is one thing that you absolutely must be careful with is that you do not um, put this pen in your pocket with that tip sticking out. It will leach and then it will just leak all over your shirt which is not a good thing. Smooth writing ink is that if, you, if you're writing and then you just stop and you sit there for a second before you continue, you're, you're going to get a little bit of um, ink draw. Not a lot, but a little bit. And if you put it in your pocket with the tip open, uh, it's going to leach the ink out into your shirt. So uh, you make sure you always close it before you stick it in your pocket. And that's pretty much... Um, the cons that I can see here. I don't, I don't see anything negative that I can really say about this pen. Uh, I think it's a very good looking pen. Um, it is the only uh, complete aluminum alloy pen that I have in my collection. Uh, so it is definitely going to be one of my favorites. And it is really so nice looking that I can be dressed up in a suit and tie and this pen would not be out of place with, with that kind of dress. And it wouldn't be out of place with my jeans and tennis shoes. It, it is a really, really nice pen. As a matter of fact, it, it just looks like you spent a lot of money on the pen. But the manufacturer's price for this uh, retail is $9.95. Although online, doing a search, I've seen it as low as 5 bucks. So, you know, just look around and you should be able to find it. And as I've already mentioned, you can use any inner gel ink. Now, I just happen to have um, <clears throat> the LR7, which is also a 0.7 millimeter medium black ink. So it, it's basically the same as what I already have in here, I'm pretty sure. But let's take a look at what it comes with as you can see it just you just screw it open unscrew it that is and it looks like they're using if I can read that it looks like it's an LR7 so I just happen to have the correct refills for this pen now the reason I bought the refills wasn't for this pen was actually for it was actually for this one here the G2 limited that I did a video on which was suggested to put the inner gel refills in here so that's why I have these but now that I have written you know have used this pen uh, I really like this pen, the way it writes and looks and feels, you know, it just looks a little more fancier than this one, even though this one here is a really nice pen, but it does have that little fish shape weakness to it that I'm not too thrilled about, whereas this one is stiffer. So, for example, the, I got both pens open 
and you can see that this is just it's very weak, weak springed, and this one is a solid spring. So I like that. That's really good. Okay, so I'll get that other pin out of the way because this video is not about the G2. It is about this BL407. Anyway, that's my impression of this pin. I think it's great. It doesn't seem to smear. It writes very smooth. Uh, it's free flowing. It has a good feel, a good look, good tactile feel here. Uh, I can't really say anything negative other than just be careful that uh, you know you don't put it in your pocket with the pin open, nor stop writing and you leave your pen on the paper just so you don't make these little ink blots. Other than that, I think that that's a really good buy, so I highly recommend this pen. Anyway, if you like this review, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Leave comments below. You know I read them and I respond often. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.